Hello everyone, this is Loco S, and welcome back to Starfield. So, we're going to go ahead today, uh, today's uh, objectives are to head out from Jameson, uh, from the new Atlantis spaceport, and we're going to go ahead and explore the new uh, star system. But before we do that, I want to point out uh, some of the things, that, some of the mods I did work on, and thankfully I did take um, a break in between episodes to do it not on screen, because it took... It's one of those things where sometimes managing inventory in a Bethesda game does take a long time, especially if you're doing research and the like. But I made as much progress on research, research as I could. Uh, I got and I took the calibrated Eon and up, put all the upgrades that my uh, previous gun had on it. Plus, up, plus I took the laser sight and upgraded it to a recon laser sight. Other than that, uh, Constellation spacesuit is now pocketed, so it has a little more carrying capacity. And... The helmet has ballistic shield, explosive shielding on it, which is good. Uh, I do have the ability to put more mods on my stuff. It's just right now, um, there's a couple of materials that I am lacking. And I did look up here, uh, research methods. Uh, is where I want to research research methods at least one or two more times, uh, at least to rank two, hopefully, before I make any more serious progress on upgrading uh, my, uh, my mods here for, like, a... Uh, Try uh, for uh, rank four, three and four uh, weapon mods, and then spacesuit design, and even before I start going into gastronometry or outpost engineering or anything like that, uh, because research methods actually reduces the uh, materials required to craft items and complete research projects. So this is something I definitely want to get to at least to uh, a reduction of twenty percent, ideally forty percent, before I start seriously going down to uh, the research paths. So this might be something I want to get to rank 3. Uh, definitely rank 2. Because rank 2, 20% reduction is going to help us quite a bit there. But that's fine because um, that's going to be a long-term goal. I don't think I want to do any more um, uh, design perks or anything like that. I definitely want to get uh, more physical, more social, even a couple more combat and science skills. And possibly even a little bit of tech before I start going heavy into research and focusing really on the science on for outpost engineering and special projects because there's a lot to go through we even need to get technically geology up past uh rank two and into, into rank three um uh just because we want to make sure we can uh gather as many uh resources as we can from uh extracting just using our mining tool plus there's a whole bunch of more in science definitely in combat we haven't even really killed that many enemies with our shotgun, so definitely need to do that. Let's see here. Uh, definitely, commerce is definitely also going to come in handy for um, survey data. Uh, I've been noticing that as we 100% survey uh, moons and planets, we get uh, research data, and we can sell that research data for money. So obviously, if we get this uh, a high up, and we can sell the research data for 20% more, that'd be fantastic. Uh, don't know which, I don't know quite sure if I want to rank for any um, skill quite yet. Uh, that's a lot of skill, per, skill points to put into one uh, rank, and that might be a little bit much. At least or at least in the early and mid game. And we're still kind of getting into the early mid game. I get the feeling that this is going to be one of those Bethesda games where your level just you're going to be at level like thirty and still be only getting into the mid game around thirty. Although we are unlocking more and more weapons, so that's good. In any case, uh, something also I forgot to mention is there's this Constellation Guide 01. Uh, you get it from going into Constellation Lodge. You can pick it up and gain permanent uh, reduction to fall damage by 5%. So that should help.
right, there we go. So let's see here. Now I know that uh, there's a Free Star Collective embassy over there. However, my character really can't do anything. Uh, even though my character is from the Free Star Collective, uh, they don't reckon not, there's nothing for me there at the moment. So, in fact, why did I do? that when I can easily just do M. Just immediately get back on our ship. All right, so. Oh! Good, no, good thing I didn't leave quite yet. Good thing I didn't leave quite yet. It'd be a lot quicker if I just run back. Um, there are some missions that we can, I think it's Tau something. Uh, the system we want to go to is Tau something, and I do know that in the uh, Constellation Mission Board, we have the ability to pick stuff up for it, so. We have to go down here to pick up missions to get I bonus money. Perform a system of okay. Let's see here. I wonder if the mission board updated. So there's the Tolyman system. I was going to go to the Tau system because I thought that was one of the systems that they had here on the available mission board. But that, I wonder if this mission board swaps out over time. Let's see here, Tolyman system. Sentient microbial colonies. There's the Toleman system. One, uh, so it's not even a full jump away to the Toleman system. Let's see if there's anything else there. The Pup system. Kasumi, Captain Star, Toleman. Mission to locate a planet trait is the most challenging survey mission. You will need to search an entire solar system for a planet that has a target trait. Well, let's see what this Katsumi is. Katsumi system. Bernard Starter's Wolf. There's a loot. There's this year system in the club. There's Tau Seti. Captain Star. Delta Bernard Shimako. There's Vega. There are a lot of stars in here. Alright, so. Missions L. So we do have to check out our ship's inventory. I check out our ship's inventory and then we'll do the um, Tolyman challenge. In fact, actually, I forgot, you can actually from the map. Tolyman. Jump right away, so. Let's 
save ourselves some time through avoiding unnecessary loading screens. Curiosity. Off limits. Why? Tolomon 2 is a biological exclusion zone. Nothing down there but terramorphs and UC soldiers keeping an eye on them. Best course of action is to leave while you're still able. Alright, I'm leaving. Alright, so I do know the terramorphs are very dangerous, so we'll explore Tolomon 2. As a last resort. It has the three traits. Set, uh, let's see here, Tolman 2A and Tolman 2C. Tolman 1. Let's set course for Tolman 1. Let's see if that has the trait. system. Okay, only two resources, no traits. That's what I kind of feared. Sources. Beryllium. Okay, that's new. Two A. What do you have? Sixty XP. Okay. Okay. There is one trait. Oh no! Wait. Tolman. No, that's two A. Okay. Tolman two A has one trait. It's I believe gonna be unlikely because we're looking for a more biological trait than a other trait. But Let's just survey this and get this out of the way. Cut your engines. Looks like you're hauling contraband goods. Respond or face the consequences. Yes, uh, Looks like you are carrying some contraband on board after our scan. Sit tight while we conduct a more thorough scan. Go ahead and scan. Uh, just one moment. Hmm. Not looking good for you. I could call for some backup. Or you could just pay an, uh, immediate fine and we can both be on our way. This is all a scam. I know I have no contraband. Yeah, but let's just pay the credits and be done with it. You saved us both some time. See you around. I don't want to have to deal with him. Okay, and this does have a trait, but again, 
no planetary stuff, so that's good. So at least we know um, what who has all what stuff. Let's... Yes, we did get some XP from doing that, but we're still going to probably have our best bet of finding... stuff through there. Genuine Jim. You're advised to leave this orbit immediately. You... Alright, I'm leaving. You? So there's an ocean, obviously we can't land on the ocean. Sure, resources. There's mountains, there's mountains. So it looks like there's either mountains or frozen plains. Argon. Your swamp. All right, terror morphs are probably going to be here. So our objective is to find these object, find these um, find this one trait, get out. We'll explore the rest of this system and then. I'll call it mission accomplished for this. I don't want to be on this planet for too long. Touching down. For your survey mission, look for landmark, life signs, and hazard map icons using your scanner. Or you can do what I do and just sort of flop around. Okay, there's a Terramorph. Violence imminent. Hey, I was not expecting to put you right away. Okay. Huh? Okay. So far, so good. Not doing a whole lot of damage, but at least it's something. I will admit this is cheesing. You know what? But if it works, it works. This pistol isn't really doing a whole lot of damage to them.
All right, we almost got this one down. Hey, lots of experience, though. Scan down. We can really use Basco. We can really use you up, buddy. they're dumb enough to get trapped in this. Okay, he's halfway down. Okay, now I'm, now I'm screwed. Distract him, I run. Oh wait, did, is he behind me? Aw, oh, Basco, don't follow me. Don't follow me, Basco, don't follow me. Yeah, so they weren't kidding when they said, uh, be aware the biomorphs are here. Hunting bighorn, okay. Unexplored ecological feature. Microbial community, okay, this is what we wanted. Sentient microbial community, we did the mission. Okay, now. Let's get to the frontier. Whew, that was tense. Basco, uh, we'll assume Basco made it back. Uh,
Ooh, I wouldn't say that. That was dicey. I need to check the swamp. The swamp was where you were going to find something like a microbial colony. Stay in orbit or jump. We know, we know. Ptolemy 2, end of the world, blah, 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 blah. Craters. Aluminum or helium three. Let's go to helium three site. Get up. Okay. Whew. Okay, we did. We survived our slightly crazed attempt to. Land on that loop. So, missions now we can check out our ship's inventory. Okay. Let's go to our own inventory. Oh, there we go. We can actually access the cargo hold from here. Okay, that's cool. In fact, we could probably from here go down to take some fuel paste. Take a UC battle meal. Okay, so yeah, so we took our random item. So it cleared that quest out of our system. So we, saw, we got that quest, so we're good there. Let's see here. There we go. <laughs> Captain's Locker, the learned astronomer. I never knew that existed.
pilot seat, cargo hold. Let's see here, what else is here? I'm curious if there's a constellation mission board on this ship. Guess not. Alright then, we're just gonna go ahead and explore this planet. Collect survey data and go out and explore. Captain. It is pleasant to see you travel safely. Captain, greetings. Goodbye, Captain. Stay right there for the moment. like that. Was there a survey target? Alright, we got some beryllium. We have to scan down. Which is good. Oh, aluminum. Which I'm pretty sure we have a whole lot of. We do I know we have a whole lot of aluminum, but just gonna be a matter of The aluminum just going to be a matter of uh, keeping enough supply over time. meters now from our survey target. Explore geological feature. Unknown feature. Let's get a little bit closer down here. That's probably a meteorite. Yep. The basin left by a massive uh, bolide impact has been revealed with liquids from deep below the surface. Deposit in this impact crater. Oh, and there's our last resource for a fully surveyed moon. Oh, there's a rock pile. Let's go see what the rock pile has and then. Get back to our ship after we spend our skill point. Alright. Got lots of good resources there. Ooh, now here comes the real challenge. Don't we can get our we can get rank two available and that way we just have this uh, leveling up for scavenging. But I doubt where we're going, we're going to be getting a lot of extra ammo. Nor do we need to really worry about spending money at this point. Always increase our weight lifting. We can always get more uh, physical, and I keep on ramming about going on and on with physical. As useful as that would be, as useful as that would be. See, this would be useful because we can. Uh, detect uncommon inorganic resources on the planet and move surface uh, for subsurface stuff and more information about ships in space, which would be useful. But our character itself is also improving, so... We're going to go ahead and do weightlifting here. Uh, for for 2,500 uh, 2, meters while 75% or more of your maximum load capacity, that should be easy. And that way we'll get a little bit more uh, carrying capacity. Plus one more uh, per point perk into physical so we can start, unload, uh, start getting into these very good second tier uh, physical traits. We're going to be pumping a lot into this physical tier here. 
In fact, we are currently at... So we do have 165 now uh, load capacity with our Constellation spacesuit. So we are not doing bad at all. and then do their quick travel between planets. Achieving orbit now. In fact, that's what, we're, what we are going to do, probably. So, Tolman 2A has been surveyed. Tolman 2, we are going to avoid, like, the plague at the moment. Tolman 2B, let's see here. You have a trait, which will give us a lot of good experience. Avoid the civilian outpost, because I know that'll get us the... That won't let us get the, uh, the trait. Here we go. Oh, here, here we go. I, I was trying to be careful. I was hitting uh, the helium three deposit. Definitely looks man-made out there. Oh, there's our uh, impact crater, I guess, over there. All right. Let's start scanning down resources. So all we have is aluminum and helium-3. Which is odd, because I knew I picked a Helium-3 deposit to land at. Alright. The aluminum here isn't really our goal, but it's going to be useful for, um... I guess, like I said, four. Might as well pick it up while we see it. We, there might come a time where we'll just end up burning through this stuff, so... Always grab it if you see it. Oh, there's helium-3 deposit right there. Okay, two out of two resources. Now we have uh, 350 meters to our crate goal. Structure out that way, we don't really care about. A bunch of iron meteorite fragments laying around, which are pretty cool. There we go. Let our let uh, our character relax, relax because we don't want to over exert ourselves and start dealing damage to ourselves that way. That'd be a silly way to die. Take 20 XP from just exploring this. Here we go. Impact crater scanned. All right. Okay, so I noticed something on the XP bar. It'll show you a. Uh, it'll tell you how much XP you've got, and also how much the bar is filled um, with the XP. Uh, with the XP, 
that's how much further you have you have to go. So it's a good way to tell how much further you have to go. So we do have a decent bit of a way to go. All right, so test Tammy uh, Toleman 2B. Toleman 2C. Show resources. We want to again aim for something on the light side of the moon. And we want to aim for a helium 3 deposit area. Twenty XP just from visiting. Huh. So we've got some random shipping crates out here. Well, so might as well just uh, why do I feel like this is a trap? Antimony is a rare material, so we'll take that. Yeah, it's a very rare material. Exotic, so we'll definitely take it. Take some more antimony. All right. Again, we want to land where there's helium three deposits in the ground. Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down. life form in this area. I would hope so. Although I imagine that structure might be full of stuff. Okay, there's a lot of structures around here. Okay, there's our healing, there's our aluminum deposit. Once again, we struck gold almost. And that's it. I guess. Huh. Who'd have thought? All right. Okay. Uh, we got our beryllium. So let's get... Out of here. All right. So that's surveyed, surveyed, surveyed. We're not going to survey that for a long ass time. Ptolemy 1. It's an inferno planet, which is okay. So we're not planning on staying long. We're just going to go there, grab the survey data, call it a day. Did we just get hailed? Oh well. Oh well. Setting down, everything in the green. All 
right. Exit ship. There's a structure out that way, a structure out that way. Extreme solar radiation. Now, ooh! Natural phenomena out that way. I'm intrigued to see what that natural phenomena is. But it's far away and there's other goals I want to achieve. Because so we finished up the Toleman system, which is jokingly a level 5. There's, here's, there's the pop. Because I want to go back to Alpha Centauri and then get the missions. I think there was a couple missions that we could get at the pop. I think we because the thing we didn't we explore the Sierra system yeah we explored the Sierra system already we want to go to the pop first off we have to go back to Alpha Centauri landed Jameson. Pick up the mission, head to the pub. Actually, well, while I'm at it, I'll probably pick up the resources. You are entering United Colony space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You are cleared to land at New Atlantis. Alright. So let's go here. Let's go to inventory. Let's go to cargo hold. Take all cargo from the cargo hold. Ooh. We don't want to take all cargo, we just want to take all resources. So let's see here. Store, 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 store. Store all you, store you, store antibiotics and bandages. I want to take all the med packs with us. You know what? No, we want to leave. I want to store seven med packs on the ship just in case we need them for later. Help a lot. Simpass Alpha. We'll keep store that on the ship for the moment. Also store all of those on the sh ship. Yogurt on the ship. Okay, we're almost there. I think. Store that on the ship. We do want to take all the resources with us. All 
Okay, that's good because we can take all these resources and then deposit them back at base. That leaves our cargo hold relatively light on the frontier. And let's see here. Out of curiosity skills. Good, because we'll be able to do the wait. Uh, we're going to actually land at New Atlantis and then sprint all the way there just so we can get away. We get some more progress on that rank there. As Discord keeps on. I have to remind myself how to, to change Discord back to that setting where it doesn't ping me on uh, all, the, all the time. So let's see here. We'll land at the commercial district. Okay, there we go. Hey there. Now that we loaded in, that's the UC building. Alright, let's see here. Let's see how much sprinting. There we go. Come on, game, load in. Get us. Submit your application now with the nearest cables. I've met so many interesting people. There at the mass, just we're almost there at our um, lodge. All right, there we go. We're almost back home. So, I'm going to end the episode. Oh. Hmm. That'll work. Alright, so we're we'll in the episode here. This is getting late. Let's see here. Kind of. So, I'm thinking these actually change out fairly often. So, we have to see what kind of goals we can do. So, Zazi. Let's 
Let's see here what Pizzazzi is in our systems. Here, there's Pizzazzi. Okay, Pizzazzi is a level ten system. Wish I could see more of the actual system before you jump in. So it's a quote unquote eight level ten system, and we are so we'll be easily be able to do this. So see primordial network or subsurface seas. I wonder if we can do both. Oh, and survey Pizzazzi 3B in the Pizzazzi. Okay. So we'll do those three missions on the Pizzazzi system. Get a whole bunch of resources. We'll get a whole bunch of money. So we do I know have a lot of, quite a bit of money in the um already. We already have, uh, four, we still have 14,000 credits, so we're not doing, we're not hard up for credits at all. So, Pizzazzi system, sir, uh, will be probably the next, uh, episode or two. Covering the Pizzazzi system, surveying it all, knocking it under a system, uh, under our belt. Continuing to get more perk points and leveling up our character's abilities. As well as gathering more resources to store away here in our cabinet here. Because you never know when those resources might come in handy. Especially, especially if we start getting um, high up enough levels that we're trying to get some really good uh, guns. And then we can take those really good guns and modify the heck out of them. So... I think this would be probably a good place to call it. This is probably a good place to call an episode right at the lodge. Once again, just continue to explore the universe of Starfield. Um, I want to say, before we head out, I know for certain I want to get one more. Uh, we'll do one. How this? That's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will say around level twenty-five. Um, we'll do all these exploration missions. Um, if we explore all the systems nearby. And we're still not at level 25. Uh, we'll go ahead and start doing main mission quest. Uh, we're just going to keep on going and doing the main mission, uh, main quest line from there on, there on out. But either we explore all the systems in the local area. Basically, everything from Narion and Volo out this way. Either we explore all these systems, or we hit level 25 or 26, and then we're going to go ahead and then um, start back at the main quest. I definitely have quite a few skills here I want to unlock before we continue on the main quest. Um, but hopefully, still plenty of exploration for this game. So, until next, until that, uh, until next time. This is Linlock OS signing out from Starfield.